Hello, how are you? I hope you're good. Welcome to a new vlog. It is the first week of December. We have still not actually decorated our flat, which is fine, <laughs> but I thought I'll pop in and say hello. Um, it's Wednesday actually, so I am starting this vlog a little bit late, but that's fine. We still have plenty of days and I have not done any reading it, so it was like busy otherwise, so I didn't miss anything. <laughs> Look at the cat. <laughs> so the first thing I think we're gonna do is um, pick Logan's TBR for the TB avatar. The guy did not <laughs> read much, so at least I'm leading firmly. I also really want to sit and think of how I'm gonna start my own TBR, which book I should read first and um, separate into chunks like I did last time, just so I know kind of where I am. Welcome! Let's go into the TB avatar and I'll be right back. Would you like to tell people how you did? I didn't. <laughs> you didn't? I didn't, that's how I did. All right, um, Red Rising. Uh, wait. And a DNF, Lady Mechanica. Yeah, that's what you want. <laughs> Come on. Yeet. Do you want to tell people what you thought about each? Uh, Red Rising is possibly my new favorite book. <laughs> and Lady Mechanica, I couldn't get past the first 20 pages or so. It was just very badly written. And we, Dialogue was awful. As we said, the D DNFs, we won't punish. Um, so you don't have to actually step back for that. I didn't read Vicious, I didn't read um, Norse Mythology, and I didn't read The Yellow Wallpaper. Yeah. So you read one, so you step one forward, you DNF'd one, so you still step one forward, and then you didn't read three? Mm -hmm. So you step one back, so two back. Yeah, two back. So I end up in the tear bending. And then in front of the tear bending, you go even further back. Look at me, there by Momo's Momo. feet. Destroy. No, no, not the same Momo. It's Sabotage. Friend. It's friend. Not friend, get it. Because I did ask you if you still want to play. Because I did. Obviously, <laughs> I just, obviously I that just we... messed up. Uh, I just messed up. <laughs> I just made a mistake. Uh, I think it was also because, uh, well, there was a lot of things going on in general, but there's also like the new World of Warcraft uh, expansion that yeah. probably did not help the matters. Are you wanting to try and include the same ones that you didn't read in this, if you can, or are you going to um, pick different things? I don't know. We'll see. <sighs> yeah, I don't think you will be able to catch me, catch with me, but maybe I'll fail my December and then you can. Yeah. It's, we'll see. It's possible, right? There's the physical possibility that I could do that. Okay, do you want to do spin number one? Yep. Okay. I'll put a countdown. That's in the middle, I just respin that one. Wait, what? You don't get respins! No, it was in the middle! Ah! <laughs> so I got one. No, you'll spin again because I didn't film it. <laughs> oh, 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 I went the wrong way! I went the wrong way! When I put myself back, I, I went the wrong way. No, you didn't. I did. Oh, yeah, you did. So I was actually uh, forward one and then back two. So I was back actually three, babe. Back three. I was here. And then I got seven. Okay, so, so I would be two, so funny three, if you stunned the hair again. Like ah! <laughs> Sabotage. Okay, so that's just an empty one, right? Yeah. Take a card. That's because my face is in the frame. Yeah. Ty Lee, read a pink book. Read a pink book. Thing is that my dust jackets are off, so I might actually pull my laptop away. What? The antidote for everything. Yeah. Take it. Oh, there's Blackbird, which is a comic book that you might enjoy, there by Momo. Mm -hmm. There's also Goddess and the Machine, which is a sci-fi. Actually, you know what else is purple, pink? Um, The Ark for the Galaxy and the Ground Within, which is a new Becky Chamber one. Oh, yeah. So you might want that, actually. That's kind of pink. It's purple. It's purple, but there's pink there. Yeah, it's pink. It's kind pink, of it's pink enough. There's there's the pink there's pink writing on it and it's pink and purple. Yeah. And purple well, and blue and I'll mostly show purple. Them. There's uh hey. significant pink we'll hey. say we will allow because we obviously don't want him to read like what he literally hates or something but oh, no. it would no. be funny though. So it's either this or bird thing. Go with this. Okay. Roll number 2. 3. So three. Yeah. 1 2 Three. Uh, spins again and both moves how much he span, but also read according to the genre of the color. So. That is seven again. Seven? Yep. 
Okay. When I, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and what genre is it? Red. So it's mystery or thriller. Mm. So there's a silent patient, possibly, and then there's this, um, no, sorry, this, kind of. So there's the Red Dragon, which is the Hannibal book. Oh, yes. Have I sold you already? Yeah, I'll go with that. You sure? It's pretty big. Yeah, I mean... Actually, it's all right, probably. It's, what, like, 400? Yeah, 390. Oh, it looks thicker. 400. Okay, then we have two books already, and you moved up actually quite a lot. So mm -hmm. now I am slightly worried you might catch up, but yeah, that was Momo. My second spin then, wasn't it? it was your third. Does that count as a third one? Yes, it does actually. So we need to take another card. Good point. As close as I can. <laughs> yeah, it's fine, I think. <laughs> Bosco, animal on the cover. What is the. But here? Bear. Bear. So extra spin if you have a bear. What was the other one where well, we didn't do it even? Ping book and you get an extra point if it's... Fuck. No, fire is mystery thriller, so... Oh, so that doesn't matter then. So it, you don't get the extra point on this one. No possibility mm. of extra point. Um, and then we got a bear, which could be a bear in title or cover. Um, for animal on the cover. I actually am reading this month a book with the bear in the name. There's this book called Stranger um, Stranger of Tempest, which is... I have no idea if it's any good. It definitely has a dragon <laughs> on the cover. It's not a dragon, babe. No. It's like a demon. It has human hands. Oh, okay. Well, I just saw the face. So, like a demon or whatever. It counts as an animal, I guess. Yeah, it's a creature. Animal. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to check if the Oathbringer has here? Well, it doesn't. No. Do you not want to try and put it in somehow? Sure, but it doesn't have any animals in the cover. No, I'm, I'm pretty sure. with other poems too, though. Can't put Rhythm of War in just yet. <laughs> See if we can find a single butterfly yeah. in it so we can allow it. Uh, well, what, what were humans are animals. What were your other things? Humans are animals, babe. <laughs> Okay, so I realized that we didn't really tell you what these books are about. So this one is, um, I think they get like stranded in a space hopping station and there are a couple of people that in their lives like intertwine and they, um, she does write a lot of character driven stories. So it's probably going to be similar to those. And it's like, we absolutely love her writing. And I think both of us have like her as one of favorite authors. Mm -hmm. um, so that could be super fun. Um, the Red Dragon is the Hannibal Lecter story, the first book in that. So it doesn't say anything about what the book's about on the, on the bit at the back, but the, the blurby bit is for a damsel in distress. She was rather more spattered with someone else's blood than Lynx had expected and naked. Very naked. Cool, sounds fun. Yeah. So we don't really know, so perhaps Logan will update us during the vlogs when you read this, if you mm. read this. Stranger of Tempest. So um, then we can kind of learn what this is about, and if it's a good book, then maybe I'll read it soon as well. Yeah. I remember reading the first chapter of it, which was nice. Three. <laughs> Secret tunnel! Oh. Secret tunnel. But that is just like Secret tunnel. That is just another card from yep. the deck. One thing I want to clarify though, that wasn't an extra spin, no? No. It's just a spin to okay. for color. This is an extra spin. Mm. Oh. The more you know. <laughs> I, just, I read I misread that almost as massager hot. <laughs> read a book you've got in from a book box. You Ooh, ooh! I don't know if you actually like any of the books. Let me think of what would be the best option for you. Cryer's War. Cryer's War. Um. After the War of Kinds ravaged the Kingdom of Rabu, the Otome, designed to be playthings of the royals, took over the estates of their owners and bent the human race to their will. Robot uprising? <laughs> At some point, question mark, fantasy sci-fi robot uprising that are now royalty. Yeah, it doesn't really say what happens in it, just the setting, really. That's fine, maybe it'll be spoiler. Mm. <laughs> I know there's meant to be some kind of love interest between um, a girl and another girl that's the Sovereign's daughter, so... And the average is actually 4.06, which is pretty high, so... I'll put it up. Aha! Eight. One... Oh, wait, 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 no. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight. Oh my god, you're on the same quarter! I'm right behind after you. After Norway. You were so lucky here. 
happening on so my you're, So you're saying that I can win this by not reading books? <laughs> I read one book. <laughs> I didn't roll very well. I feel bad. I feel bad. I at the same time, I'm, I'm very close. I didn't. Beating you. I didn't roll very well. You might get. You might get trapped in a storm and end up where I am. <sighs> okay. Well, it is what it is. So you pick another card. And it is this one. That's the card. Mm -hmm. uh, ah. Flame me, oh hot man. Read a <laughs> steamy novel. <laughs> You have to read a smut. <laughs> I only have one, so there's literally no option. What is it? Um, it's called The Deal, and yeah. I will show you what the cover is. <laughs> um, this is the cover. Okay. That's the cover <laughs> of the book. Of the fifth book! The fifth <laughs> book? Can I, can I not just order a Chuck Tingle? <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, technically... Oh, wait. Actually, if you're playing, then you can't yeah, buy books either. I'll <laughs> pound, pound it in the butt by my own butt. That took an interesting turn. <laughs> yeah. I mean, again, you're allowed to DNF, but you yeah. have to give it a go. I'm yeah, I'm, I'm open to new experiences. <laughs> um, we have four cards, but none of them with potential for a respin. Mm -hmm. And one came from a genre spin. A lot of sci-fis. You didn't fit Should in this. <laughs> No, that can, that can just didn't. be... This really makes me feel like I need to finish my read so I can get those extra five steps because you rolled way too good here. Are you sure? Because you even went backwards. Is this right? Maybe I went you, backwards maybe too. You That's did all that I went thing. back was like two in total because one forward, three back. So I was only two behind. Oh yeah, because the tier bending was the wrong way. Yeah, they got like an eight, a seven, a three, and a, another eight. I rolled basically as high as I could have. Oh, why does it seem like you're just further than you should be? Oh, you got secret tunnel. Yeah, got that that's too. So why. That gave me an extra five. Do you think you'll read these? <laughs> yeah. Good luck, my friend. Go. You Beep. can put them in the between the horses. Well, that took a turn. Very excited to hear your thoughts. Will you give us updates? Yes. So, um, will you start reading this week? Yes. Very nice. If you want to keep updated with our reading and what we think and what we're experiencing, then continue sniffing oh intensified. So keep the up with the vlog, sniffer. but I'm going to go back to work. So. so. Am I salty a little bit? I am. <laughs> because I read everything and he just rolled so good and he went into the secret tunnel and now he's like breathing on my neck. <sighs> we got this. We got this. It's fine. <laughs> I just need to be like... A reading, you know? I've been sad writing down um, how many pages I have in this month's TBR and um, how many days. So normally when I plan this, I take into account a couple of things. First of all, is the book a novel or is it a graphic novel or is it a manga because obviously the pages are not equivalent there um and I think what I'm gonna do is just assign double um so whatever the amount is gonna be per day if it would be like 50 pages for a normal novel I think it'll be like 100 for a manga and like 80 for a graphic novel or something like that I'm not sure we'll see <laughs> and then I also take away at least one day out of each week because there's at least one day where I cannot do any reading usually around two but I don't want to stress myself too much with like big chunks daily goal um and because it's also like a Christmassy thing I'm gonna take two days out of the last week just in case there's too much going on not that I think there will be but you know just in case so because today is the second that leaves me with 26 days. I also took out the last one because I do want to like usually try and film uh, the next TB avatar at the like pretty much like if I can on the basically the last day of the month or whatever that falls out. So that's like all fun and good. But that's just 26 days. So the manga has 430 pages but when I'm gonna calculate the daily thing I'm gonna put it as 215. So I double down on the average one calculating, but I will then double up on actually assigning them. I think 
That gives us a thousand and five hundred pages. So if we divide that by 26, oh, we have 58 actually for the daily ones. So that would be like um, 116. Hello, I'm setting up to do a little come read, focus, work with me session with the Patreons, which I would probably legitimately do every other night if I didn't have chronic pain issues. Because <laughs> um, I just find it so genuinely fun and chill. We have like a, because it's not done through YouTube, it's done through a different platform, and it's like a private event. Um, we just play some super chill music and do stuff together and just have like focus sessions and I love it. Hope people do too. <laughs> um, but I'm just setting up to do that now and possibly start this because uh, I'm kind of feeling like a manga mood and I have my favorite snack. You know, other than favorite healthier snack, I should say. Oh shit! <laughs> ah, why? I'm such an idiot. Oh my god, I can't live! Look at my raspberries! Ah! My cabbages! <laughs> my raspberries! We don't go the same places that we used to go. This is pretty. Hello, welcome to my Thursday night. I am. I'm just here. Um, and I'm gonna watch The Crown. I watched the first two seasons years ago and apparently the third and fourth are out and i have a migraine so i'm laying here i did read a little bit i'll update you in a bit but you know sometimes life's like this and here we go, we don't go the same places that we used to go. hello it's saturday um today is a little bit of a struggle because it is day three of a migraine also, I just looked to the right side because I wanted to look to the, <laughs> to the, um, to glimpse a little bit of a sky. And my neighbor was changing and he spotted me looking that way. And I think pretty sure he now thinks I watched him change. But I just don't want to do anything. I don't want to speak to anyone. I'm pretty irritable because I'm now really behind <laughs> everything that I needed to do and really behind reading, which I know it doesn't matter that much, but... It's annoying when it's from things that um, you don't feel like you have control over. I wonder if that guy just thinks that I just sit here, like, phase the window and talk to myself. <laughs> anyway. But, yeah, it's Saturday. <laughs> I feel bad because I don't really have a lot of an update for you guys. I The last time I read, I actually think I told you. So I'm still here with this book. I'm not enjoying it. It's the I want to eat your pancreas book. I'm just not enjoying it as much. Um, the, the, I think the friends make it the weirdest. They're just really odd. Um, but the whole story is about a girl who has a terminal illness and um, I think it's pancreatic something with the pan pancreas obviously from the title. And she wrote about this in a journal and she doesn't really tell anyone about that but the journal then gets lost and uh, one of her classmates finds it and the classmate is super introverted and I don't know what's up with the names I think um, it must just be a translation thing but like he never also is like addressed by name um, so then she starts uh, hanging out with him a little bit more because he is one of the only people who actually knows about that so she doesn't have to hide it, which is a really interesting concept, but she seems a bit manipulative and she also seems to want to kind of save him from himself and I don't really think that um, being an introvert is something that you need to change in people, like it's not something you need to cure. Hot take apparently. Um, but the friends are the most annoying ones. They're like, just like, why are you hanging out with him? Like, why are you doing this? Are you guys dating? And it's just so, ju first of all, it's so juvenile. And second of all, it's so grinding. Um, 
But I still want to read it. I looked at a couple of reviews and people just seem to... Main thing is that people seem to be broken and crying at the end. And I just want to test if, once again, I am entirely um, broken <laughs> or if I will, too, feel all emotional. Thankful to my previous self for cleaning this room and I did manage to hover. I'm just in a lot of pain today, so I'm not gonna do too much, pretty sure. And I'm just frustrated because, so, um, I'm on my day three, but it feels like day one because it moved from one side to another. If you have migraines, you might know what I mean. <laughs> yeah, but I'm, I'm kind of bitter. Whenever I get into these days, sometimes I get really bitter. If this aligns with me having sleep issues, then if I try not to go on Instagram and stuff because other people living their lives makes me unhappy, which is ridiculous. <laughs> like, I fully know it's ridiculous and it's not me wanting them not to live their life. It's me being jealous of people living their lives and just, like, and then being angry at myself for being jealous or... And um, it's a cycle. <laughs> and no one feels better about it. <laughs> I feel like I started this, like, chaptering on Wednesday. That's what I'm kind of feeling. So this would have been Wednesday chunk. I didn't actually quite finish, but I literally have just like a tiny bit. So then this would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So if I actually want to call, catch up and I don't, and I just want to read the manga, then I would be finishing this today and still be on track. That most likely will not happen, I feel. <laughs> I think I feel especially crappy because I also have a deadline and I need to send and submit something tomorrow for another Skillshare um, sponsorship. And... I have a lot of symptoms today, so I'm gonna probably first go and like settle on my couch and just sink into it. Hi. <laughs> so yesterday, I, I just filmed the video, hence the setup, but I thought I'll come in and update you on stuff as well. Um, yesterday just went worse and worse, worse and worse and worse. Um, so I didn't actually do any reading. But I guess it is what it is. But I thought, um, you know what I do a lot when I have a migraine though? Oh my, this is the, that's not great. But I can tell you a little bit about what I've been watching. I watched The Crown, I think I mentioned that to you, and I finished it now. Um, it's basically a dramatized story of British royal family, which um, royals in this day and age to me is just still... A hilarious concept but I just I find it also extremely hilarious thinking that there's probably people who take this series at face value <laughs> thinking that is all accurate which also is quite funny I really like this how it's filmed and the cinematography in it is really beautiful speaking of beautiful actually I also watched the Queen's Gambit and I really liked it it's about a uh, orphan who uh, is taught how to play chess by a janitor and then is quickly seen as a prodigy of um, chess and she goes on then to uh, competing professionally but the thing is that she develops a drug addiction because it was like basically stimulating her brain and it was at the time that orphanages kind of gave tranquilizers to kids it was like back when you know but again, it's shot so beautifully. I really enjoyed it. Um, I don't even play chess. So I was just like a dummy sitting there being like, uh -huh, yeah, yeah, this makes total sense. <laughs> um, but I loved it. And then yesterday we started watching this new kind of fake documentary bits, like a speculative documentary, I guess. I can't remember what's it called, but I'll put it here. Um, where they basically speculate about how other life forms would look like on different planets and so far it's really interesting the first one is um about a planet with a different gravity and density of air which was really beautiful to look at and i think the next one is about like the planet that is uh, the, the way that it rotates like one side is constantly in the cold and the other side is constantly in the heat um so looking forward to that i think that's the main things that i've been watching which is still quite a lot but i've managed to film a video which i'm feeling good about because you guys know i was a bit worried about that i'm gonna go tidy up there's like lights to put away and stuff like that and um probably start editing oh i did however listen to a little bit of bear and the nightingale um so i'm currently like a little bit as well i think into chapter five which is still 
still in the first chunk <laughs> of this um but i agree with um i think there's a couple of moonies that said that in the moonie discord um that the audiobook like the voice actor is good there's so many voices that she's doing and it is a little bit over the top and kind of distracting so i'm most likely going to return the audiobook because it's still like literally here and just try and read this physically which kind of leaves me without an audiobook which is not ideal i would rather do that than like accidentally ruin it for myself just because i needed an audiobook you know it's just a lot it's a lot and it's it's an odd choice like i understand you know wanting to make it kind of like more authentic and sounding and more Russian but the way I, th I don't know I think it's maybe the way that it's written sometimes it's not grammatically correct it grinds my gears because like if if the characters were speaking originally in Russian then surely the grammar would be fine it's just if they're trying to speak a second or third language which would be English then there would be maybe a translation lag errors whatnot but because obviously these characters are talking between themselves in Russia their grammar would be fine like the structure the sentence structure would be correct making it kind of like almost on purpose in the stereotypical ways that um russian speaking people sometimes misspeak in english like the common errors is just like i understand what you're doing but i wish you didn't kind of thing you know like paint your picture through atmosphere or through good descriptions or good uh, weaving culture through other means rather than making characters like stereotypes of Russian speaking English folk, you know? I don't know. Just a thought. <laughs> but um, so far, not many thoughts, to be honest. Like, so far, it's very akin to a uh, Cinderella story, which I know this is inspired more so by like Russian folklore. If, uh, I thought it was like Vasily the, Be the Beautiful, but apparently not so much. It's like a mash of a lot of things, I think. Um, so far, the closest one definitely is like a Cinderella thing, because. Um, this girl like gets lost in the forest and then like her mother dies giving birth to her and then her father now just left to the city to get another wife and, and no doubt that wife's not gonna like her. <laughs> um, that's where I'm at. Uh, I'm losing my voice already so I'm gonna go. Hello, welcome to Monday. This vlog I feel <laughs> It's been a little bit odd and definitely a little bit difficult when it comes to reading so fingers crossed we have a little bit more luck this coming week or this week but you got Logan's TV avatar so it's fine it counts and maybe for once this vlog is actually going to be fairly reasonably timed I'm not quite sure if I can go that far I also wanted to thank the patreons who have joined in November welcome them into either the moon watchers or the moon messengers tiers so since when you join in November your first official month is December that's when it kind of kicks in I, I wanted to give the warmest thanks to uh, Cassandra, Haley, Jennifer, Annalise, Elizabeth, Alexandra, Maria, Emma, Marina, Gina, Mahira, China, Matilda, Morgana, and Sarah. Thank you so, so much. For those who are in the Mooney Watchers tier, I hope you will enjoy your exclusive videos. And for those who are in the Messenger ones, I hope you will enjoy your bookmarks. I'm so excited for both of these. Thank you so much for your support. It honestly means the world. I think I'm gonna leave it here and going to go and edit. I have successfully edited that wrap up yesterday. I finished literally, it was so funny because I finished at midnight. It was like zero, 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 zero. I hope this video was okay and not too shite. <laughs> Hope you guys are well. Um, so the wrap up is hopefully coming to you on Wednesday. But until then, I hope you're gonna have a couple of lovely days. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're well. Um, stay awesome, stay kind, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Throw my